Hi guys, um, just thought I'd do a little tutorial on something that I find very useful. Um, I use it a lot on my websites. It's these image changers um, or sliding image. Um, I find them very useful. Um, you can use them on a couple of places on your page. Um, they're very, they're a lot, they're a lot easier to use and a lot easier to set up than some of the ones that I've used before. Um, as I said, this is kind of my favorite one. Basically, change any of the settings in it to suit your images, uh, whatever size images you want to put in. You can set the uh, the transition times and um, the durations, different different settings. So I just I bring you in to uh, show you that this is where you need to download the the uh, files from. Um, basically, what it is is it's uh, it's a little bit of code. JavaScript code that you paste into the head of your document, um, and uh, also you download a JavaScript file um, which you place in your document root. Um, so that's it. So if you go ahead and download those, I'll put a link in the description for exactly where where to find them on this site. Um, I'll put a direct link to this page. But um, we get started. And I use Dreamweaver. I find it the easiest. Which you can do whatever text editor you use yourself. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and switch that up here. And I've kind of tailored to suit my individual needs. Um, it should be basically the same as what everybody else would use. Um, what I've done is I've added comments to it, uh, just describing what each of the different things do. So that's the, the script um, that I've downloaded from the site. And also, what I always do is I always make up a separate folder uh, for the images that I'm using as part of the slideshow. It just keeps them separate from the rest of your images. Um, and here's the JavaScript file that's in your document root. Um, this is the file I'm talking about, the slideshow file. Uh, and I'm using PNG images, they're quite large images, just to kind of give you an idea what exactly is possible. So we'll get started here and I'll talk you through the code. Um, so we start at the very top. Uh, and this is the link to the jQuery library, um, the online library. So that's essentially that there. Um, that has to be included to for the file to run, for the JavaScript to run. This then is the link um, to the JavaScript file within your document or site route folder um, there. This is the credit or comment to Dynamic Drive. You do have to leave it in. I don't think people should really be asked to leave stuff like that and you should do it without even being asked. Um, if you're going to use somebody else's script I think you certainly should give them a credit. Um, so I think that should go without saying that you should have to leave something like that intact. Uh, so we'll move along then to the actual workings of the JavaScript. Uh, this little section here, Fadeshow 1, is basically that's the wrapper ID, which means that this is the div that you're going to place your slideshow into. So I go ahead and do that and just want to create a div within the body section. And we will call it uh, Fadeshow 1. And I'll always put in comments. I think it just makes it easier when you're looking for things in your within your code, and also it's it's invaluable if you're ever going through somebody else's code um, that you know where everything is. It's, it just makes it easier to find things. So that's the page show div setup. That's all you need to do in that sense. Just wherever you want it to appear within your code, put that div there. Um, so we're going to go back to the styling of it for now. Um, so that's the first bit that we have the page show one in. The next bit then is the dimensions. So this is the size of the actual page show one div. It'll be 698 pixels by 240 pixels. Now I want my, my images are slightly larger. They're 946 by 563. So I'm going to actually change those. Um, 
so that means then that my ratio 1 dip will be 946 pixels by 563 pixels at night. And the comment that I've commented down here, so you should um, so you should be should be easy enough to follow. <coughs> the next bit then is the image array. And uh, these this is basically the list of the images that are going to show up as part of your slideshow. So first set of double quotes here contains the path to the image that you want to appear and then as you can see here my path is slideshow image one which is basically slideshow image one right there um, the second set of double quotes then uh, contains the link if you want to make that as a clickable link um, you can make each, make each image uh, clickable and the third set of double quotes um, basically contains whether or not you want to open it up in a new um, a new tab in your browser or if you want it to show up in the parent or the, the one that they're actually on at the time um, and the fourth quote uh, or set of double quotes contains um, the text that you want to appear uh, at the bottom of the image uh, when you hover over it so and every one of these um, parentheses within the main images has to end in a in a comma so that it knows the JavaScript knows that it's to move on to the next image um, with the exception of the very last one uh, you leave the trailing comma blank there so that it knows it's reached the end of the array and it'll go back to the start again and as you can see I have a commented out there so you know exactly what's what the next one then is the pause and um, what that is is that's set to 4000 milliseconds or 4 seconds um, that's the length of time that the image stays on the screen before it changes to the next one you can change that, that's completely editable you can set that to whatever you want um, the fade duration then is the length of time it takes to for the transition between one image to the other and that's set at 500 milliseconds or half a second um, and that's it for the main part of the within the actual HTML itself next bit I'm going to show you is within the JavaScript um, and within the JavaScript itself which is this file here Fade show, fade slideshow JavaScript. Um, if you scroll down through it, you'll come across this section here, background. Um, by default, yours will be set to black. The word black will actually appear there. What that means is that before the slideshow appears, you'll see a black box uh, completely filled with just black. And I think it looks quite unprofessional when your page loads to see a black box. So I always change that to whatever background color. Um, my web page happens to be in this instance it's white and um, I use the hex code for white uh, so that has to be changed twice here and here so um, it just it makes it it's, it's again it's that little bit more customizable that you can you can make those changes um, to make it look a little bit more professional so that's pretty much it now, so I'll just show you this working and uh, load it up in the browser. And of course it's not working, and I know why it's not working. But this is because I'm using PNGs that I forgot to change. Set the JPEG, so therefore it wouldn't uh, it won't start because it's, it can't find the first image. So if I go back in refresh that and what it'll do is it'll cycle through the images and change every four seconds and as you can see there's a half a second of transition between one image and the other it fades out and the new one comes in across it now what we can do is we can add in a second instance of the slideshow on the page and all you need to do is copy that and paste it in below and where it says fade show one change it to fade show two and we select this part of the 
script right down to the curly brace there. Copy that. We'll give ourselves a bit of room. And we'll paste it in. And all you need to do then is change the name from 1 to 2. And that's pretty much it. You have your second slideshow. And you can go in and you can change whatever size there you can make those changes to. So, we'll refresh the page. There you go. You have two instances. And that's pretty much it. Um, so, again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, this is my first tutorial, so go easy on me. Uh, please subscribe and rate. And if you have any questions, you can post them below. I'm going to post the link to the uh, Dynamic Drive website. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.